What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Didi. Welcome back to the channel. So I am back with another reaction video, you guys. Before we get into the video, if you are here and you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. It is free to subscribe. Donations. 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 Also like and share the video as well and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos or go live. So we gonna hop right into the video. You guys see the title. Make sure you chime in in the comments. I definitely wanna hear your thoughts on this one. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Here we go. Listen, do y'all remember when we had starters? Okay, cause see y'all are too rich for starters now. Social media got y'all thinking y'all supposed to jump straight off the porch with an 800 credit score driving a Benz in a 6-7 bedroom house. Baby, my first car was an Oldsmobile Cutlass, okay? The second one was a Mazda 626. The third one was a Volkswagen, okay? When I first quit my job to become a full-time entrepreneur, all of my business clothes came from the thrift store. Y'all know it's okay to still have starters. Y'all know it's okay to build slowly so you can build it right. We had starter cars and starter homes, and we had starter clothes, like... Back in the day, we didn't care because we wasn't trying to impress nobody. We was trying to make it. We was trying to survive. And it wasn't really, you know, we wasn't in the era of trying to keep up with everything we saw on social media. Back in the day, baby, we had MySpace with stars falling on our page with music playing. Like, we appreciated the small things. Like, y'all go back to starters. Do what you got to do for you. Listen, I applaud her for saying that because, yeah, we're in a time where everybody's rich everybody making six figures you know what i'm saying everybody got it like that but you know the stats don't show that you know it's showing that people are struggling to pay rent and to buy groceries and people are living out of shelters and storage units and things of that nature it's not really showing that people are running around here with all this money you know what i mean that the majority of people are running around here with all this money people are struggling to just live day to day you know so you know i don't know what you know why we're to this place every social media in my opinion has definitely got people thinking that everybody's rich and everybody's on this level and everybody got it like that so you got people out here who are going into debt trying to please the next person or show people how much they got it on social media faking the funk you know what i'm saying they like out here renting bentley's and renting cars to to make it look like they got it like that when they really don't so yeah definitely social media has done this to a lot of people but i'm here to tell you baby stop trying to live for somebody else stop worrying about what other people think and live for yourself at your own pace do what works for you you don't have to have these expensive cars a regular honda or a toyota ain't nothing wrong with that it's a car baby it gets you around it gets you from a b c to d you don't have to have a bentley or a benz or whatever these highly expensive cars that does not determine your worth you got to stop letting people make you think that you're less than if you don't have these things because that's just not the case and a lot of people who have those things are struggling to keep those things you know it's one thing to get it but to maintain it it's it's it costs a lot so don't fall for the okie doke stay in your lane and your lane is just fine you are okay with where you are there's nothing wrong with having aspiring to have money or building yourself up or you know getting to a better place in life i'm not saying that you can't get a better job or have a become an entrepreneur or whatever have a business or things like that but what i'm saying is don't try to do things to please other people do it for you do what you deem necessary for your life not for others because those people aren't going to come pay these bills when you can't pay them baby you're going to just be in a credit bureau and you're going to be struggling like them so don't do that but baby let's continue i'm starting to feel like the men are not wrong which is is you know what i'm saying a statement i never thought i would have to make but after being a matchmaker for over a year i'm starting to see what they talk about ladies well what's going on where where have we gone wrong i'm thinking i'm thinking we would be better than this and the data and the evidence is showing me that we are not. I need I need women's, I need y'all to get it together in the dating world. I'm not saying 100% of it is our fault, but I'm just saying there are some things that as a unit, we could be doing better. We, we could be doing a few things a little bit better. No <laughs> I'm just saying, she says she's a matchmaker. A lot of the matchmakers realize this, that a lot of these women are self-absorbed, they're selfish, they're entitled, they're just, delusional the things that they're asking for is unattainable they really don't know 
what a relationship should look like. They really don't know what a stable, committed, real relationship looks like. They don't really know what they want because they've never seen it. So they're just making it up as they go. And then they're going to these matchmakers thinking that these people can create a miracle. And then when they can't, they're still disappointed because what you want doesn't exist, honey. A lot of what these women are looking for does not exist. It only exists in their head. And it's like an echo chamber. They all looking for the same thing because one the woman said it, it sounded good. Okay, girl, so let's go with that. We know our worth. Do you really? Four or five kids later, you know your worth. And now you want this man to provide the world for you and your kids. That's delusional. If you already a baby mama, you'll be hard pressed to find somebody who wants to take that on. So you gotta reevaluate your thought process and what it is that you think you deserve. Because if you think you deserve something, then men feel they deserve something too. And if you can't give them what they deserve, then they're not gonna pick you. But let's continue. For example, it is okay to get to know a man. You don't need to know within the first 10 minutes, is he gonna be your husband or not? We can take our time. I'm not saying date him for two years and, and then figure out if he want to be your husband, does he want to have kids? No, but but maybe uh, wait till you get to the first date. You don't have to ask him as soon as he tells you his name. You know what I'm saying? Like just get to know him a little bit. We don't have to be talking about weddings and on the second date, find out if you like the man first. Do you get along? Do y'all laugh at the same jokes? Y'all like the same TV shows? Find out that kind of stuff. Ladies, please stop coming on the internet and fronting about your relationship because you are giving other women false expectations. Whether we want to admit it or not, we are all influenced in some way by what we consume online. So what happens is women will come online, see things, think that's the norm and then go home and expect that. And it's so unrealistic. I remember at Valentine's Day, I came online and people were getting Birkins for Valentine's Day. Now, happy for those women, no hate, no shade, but it did sadden me a bit because I thought so many women are gonna come on here and think this is normal and have these kind of expectations for their man. And it's just not realistic. A Birkin is expensive. Not only is it expensive, there is a method to even be able to get one. You can not just walk in a shop most time and buy a Birkin. But if that's all you see, that's going to be your expectation. So you're going to meet, hopefully, a nice young man who's doing well for himself and trying to build and have these ridiculous expectations of him. Now, I'm not saying don't have nice things, don't want nice things. We all want nice things. Baby, I'm a material girl. But be ready to contribute. And I'm not just talking about financially. I am also including financially. I'm sorry, I'm tired of tiptoeing around it. Baby, these men are not all rich. I don't know where you lot are getting. Some men are trying to get there. They work in the same job as you. Like, I don't know where you think that there's this secret money tree that is only accessible to men. And also, I'm sorry, but as women, we're just a lot smarter than men in terms of processes. So if you actually met a man who's a go-getter and can make money, if you then work with him to get there, not only are two heads better than one, you're better at certain things. So he's gonna fly faster. Because as a woman coming online and saying, oh, I just want a man who's got it, or he should just have it, doesn't make a man just have it. All it will make him do, if he's most acceptable to what you're saying, is go and commit some kind of criminal activity, which is just taking more good men off the roads. And you know we already don't have enough. So what I would really love you to do is stop taking your relationship guidance or standards from social media. It is a fake fairy tale la la land. Not only that, believe in your own source. Like you can be a go-getter as well. You can come with your man and you guys build together because you will get there faster. Also, who in their right mind in this 2024 with the way men are is financially reliant on a man? If you are ready to sit there and financially rely on a man, I am scared of you. Because these men, yeah, shout out you. So ladies, yes, it's possible to have anything our hearts desire. Honestly, anything. But it's not just by putting your foot up and looking at someone on social media and then looking at a man and expecting him to give it to you. No. Like, I hate the phrase, but bring something to the table. It will help. It will speed it up. The thing about it is most women are looking at it wrong. You know, they're not looking at bringing anything to the table. They think that a man should bring the table, the chairs, you know, and everything else that goes with it. You know, they're, they're not looking to work. The bottom line is a lot of these women are not looking to work with a man because they want everything upfront and quick 
fast in a hurry. You want somebody to come in just spending money, just spending money. Like they have a money tree. Like it come that money is that easy to come by. They're just supposed to spit it on you all day, every day, get everything that you want. That's unrealistic and, and, and that's just insane. And if you are spending money like that yourself, that's still insane because that means that you will blow everything that you've worked hard for too. And this is what's happening. They're in debt, blowing all their money, and then they want you to come in and blow yours too. And that's not conducive to a healthy, stable relationship. That's not conducive to building your future and and, and taking care of kids and their futures or none of that, that's that's not gonna help. You're just gonna spend everything that you've worked hard for. That's irresponsible. And I don't think that if you if you have a man that's buying you something and you happen to post it on social media, you shouldn't have to stop posting what you want to post because other people gonna think that it's, you know, want to try to emulate that. That's on them. You got to realize what it is you want for your life and try to go after it. And you shouldn't be comparing what other people are doing to your life. Do what you want to do. Accomplish what you want with somebody that wants to accomplish it with you. And stop looking. I agree though. You shouldn't be looking on social media for relationship advice and and guidance because it's it's not realistic. It's all, it's all a facade for sure. But let's continue. We will both be happier. Now, like I always say, there's always an exception to the rule. The best results assume it's not you. So I do not accept coffee dates from men, and I just want to talk about it. I do just want to say that my reasons are just that my own, so don't get under my comment section upset or in your feelings. So why don't I accept coffee dates? Well, besides the fact that I'm really not much of a coffee drinker, I find that coffee dates are low effort, they are cheap, and they are the biggest waste of time, honestly. So when I go on dates, I truly do like to look my best because I do believe that first impressions matter. So I really do put a lot of effort into my look and I find that putting effort into my appearance for $5 bean juice is a waste of time. So when you ask a man, why do you like to take women out for coffee dates? They will give you a bunch of reasons and I'm just here to tell you that they will never tell you the true reason as to why they ask women out on coffee dates now let me just stop it here because you know i'll just say this she looks pretty young as an older woman you look at these young women and you just shake your damn head this is that echo chamber oh i don't go on coffee dates because that's the bare minimum and if you're looking to go on a date to eat some good food and you know of a restaurant that sells some really good food but it's kind of pricey and you really want to eat there you really want that food then maybe I could understand this 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 talking point because you don't want coffee you want to eat and you want to eat from this restaurant that you know is good but it's a little pricey and you want and you want him to take you there because you're looking to have a nice meal because you're hungry and if you really want to go there just say tell him you want to go there and just be willing to even you know be willing to buy your own food if he's not willing to pay for that that way you can go and have what you want but this notion is so stupid men are saying Oh, you know, I like coffee dates, ice cream. It don't have to be coffee, ice cream, you know, a lunch or, you know, snack or walk in the park or something simple where you can get to know one another. It doesn't mean what she's about to say because I've heard this a thousand times. It just means that the man is interested in getting to know you. The simple point blank in a period. It doesn't mean anything else. There's no incentive for them to lie about that. The thing is, these women have been told that, oh, it's the bare minimum. Oh, a man will take you on. A he's just getting meeting you. So if this is the first date and he's taking you somewhere simple, you know, where it doesn't cost a lot, it's not a red flag. It's just a simple fact that he's trying to get to know you and he might not want to have to come out of his pocket to spend an arm and a leg just to try to get you get to know you on the first date. If these women had any sense and realized that if you meet the right guy that is interested in you, that those dates will get better. A lot of the women who are giving this advice to these young women are single. They, they don't have a man. You gotta understand that it's not in the first date. If a man sees that you are, are appreciative and it could just be a test. And these women will blow this test every single damn time because you're listening to these other single combative women who trying to keep other women single. It's not about how much money he can spend on the first date. It's about the conversation that you have, who he is as a person, how he speaks, what he's talking about. If you guys have a connection, if, if there's things you have in common, that's what you should be talking about on a first date things to see if you guys have certain interests that that are similar if you if you if this is actually a connection men are tired of going out spending an arm and a leg on a woman they may not even be interested in because i guarantee you if this if the roles were reversed and women had to pay for the dates they would be happy to take them coffee dates they would be happy to take that ice cream take that walk in the park because it won't cost them anything 
So y'all young ladies gotta realize that this is not the truth. This is not where it's at, babe. A coffee date, ice cream, you know, going to lunch or something simple is not it is not a red flag from a man. A man is just trying to get to know you, baby, and it shouldn't cost him all of that, even if he has the money. And if your goal is to get married and have a, 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 a good situation, a good, you know, stable relationship with a man who values you and loves you, you gotta understand the best doesn't come up front. It comes later on once he build and establish something with you. This is mind boggling. But let's continue. Let's see what else she says. Going to lie to you. They are going to guilt trip you by asking if you need free food. If that's why you're asking for him to take you on a proper date. Do you need free food? Are you hungry? And it's really just because they want the woman to be able to prove that she is worth a proper meal. I don't care about what reasons they tell you oh why does the price matter it's about connection you should only be focused no they don't believe in that they really just want you to prove that you are worth a dinner that you are worth a lunch and with that information with that well you want a man to prove that something by spending a lot on the date too you don't want him if that is the case which is not you don't want to have to prove anything to him but you want him to prove everything to you where they do that at? He doesn't owe you a damn thing. Now, if he's a decent guy and he's really trying to get to know you, this is not his intention. A lot of these guys who are trying to like get in your panties, they don't won't take you nowhere. They'll sit in the car and talk to you and they just wanna, and, and that's the ones that these women will sleep with. Who won't take you nowhere, won't even take you for an ice cream. Won't spend $2 on you, but they end up having babies with them. Come on, this is delusional, baby. Let's continue knowledge it's honestly disrespectful for a man to ever propose to me a coffee date i wouldn't even go on a coffee date with my friends my friend knows better not to ask me to have coffee with her and i know better not to ask my friends that either because they're going to feel the same exact way if we are going to get coffee it's going to be on our way to the restaurant or on our way back from the restaurant so I met a girl in class last semester who told me that she showed up to her coffee date in a bonnet, oversized sweatsuit, those black Adidas pool slides, and mixed match socks. Bonnie because she told girl. me that whenever she was going to get coffee, she was looking like who did it and why. So she showed up to the date exactly like that. And the guy that she met up with was so upset. That's honestly why I don't believe men when they say that a date is only focused solely on connection and that all the other stuff doesn't matter. If that was the case, the guy wouldn't care about how she looked like on the date. No, oh, ma'am, young lady, that is incorrect. This could have been a good guy, but this woman ruined it. She ruined her chances. That doesn't mean that. That means that he's looking at her like she's crazy because he's looking like, well, damn, this is how you present yourself. You present yourself in public with body bonnets on and looking a hot mess. You can't show up to a date presentable. Men do not expect women to go out of their way on the date. He's probably thinking, well, goddamn, if she show up like this here, this is not somebody I wanna be seen with in public. This is not somebody that I wanna pursue because if this is how she's gonna present herself as a first impression, then he don't wanna be bothered. So she could have ruined a good date with the otherwise good guy. This guy could have been a good guy, but she ruined her chances by showing up like that. If somebody is teaching these young women wrong, and this is why these young women are having a hard time getting in relationships. This is so crazy. This is this is not going to lead to you getting a successful man in a relationship. It's only going to run men off. And when these women find themselves 25, 30 and up single, this is why. That man probably thought something was wrong with her. Come on, that doesn't make him look bad. That makes you look bad. Baby, let's continue. He would just care to get to know her, right? But no, he was expecting her to show up looking all done up. It was only one man who has ever asked me out on a coffee date and I just ended up blocking him because like I said, because I know why men truly ask women out on coffee dates, I find it very disrespectful and I just don't want to deal with that. So you will be blocked. Why would I help a man get on his feet if there are men who are already standing up? Because all the stand up men have supportive women and we ain't checking for lazy ones. Drizzle, drizzle.
I know that's right. There you have it, y'all. These women are lost in the sauce and they following these sprinkle, sprinkle people and all these people telling them this, this stuff and it's not going to benefit them. I'm just saying. They really believe what these women are telling them and it just, it doesn't make any sense. Women hate to see other women progress past them. They'll tend to tell them things that will keep them single. There's absolutely nothing wrong with a guy taking you on a coffee date. That don't mean you show up in a goddamn bonnet looking a crazy hot mess, mismatch shoes and socks or whatever. That is just pathetic. That's childish and that's stupidity. So we gotta do better. Y'all gotta do better. I'm gonna leave it here. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Comment, like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that notification bell, you guys. Definitely chime in in the comments and let me know your thoughts on this one and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.